Is the gender bill jinxed? That is the question that's begging in Parliament. Once again, a vote on the bill hit a snag after MPs failed to marshal the required 233 members to take a vote. Chimtai Gowin has the details. Or oh, if you indeed, indeed you are 233, we can take the vote. The fourth attempt at passing the two-thirds gender bail again flopped. The National Assembly failing to garner the requisite numbers to initiate a vote on the bill. Only 174 members were present against the 233 required. Some issues have not been clarified before. For example, the criteria of nominating these people. I needed to see a formula that will incorporate 30% women with disabilities, 30% women who are youth, 30% women from the rural areas. Even the ringing of the division bell for 10 minutes to allow for more members into the chamber did not make a difference. A number of male legislators opting to step out and deny the bill quorum. Women parliamentarians are pointing an accusing finger at the government, questioning its commitment to passing the crucial bill. Time is ripe for us to have our own Theresa May. They say while equality is a national issue, Majority Leader Eden Duale didn't do enough to marshal members to support their cause. They should have mobilized the way they mobilized for VAT, the way they have mobilized for government bills. Why would the government tell women one side of the story and then the real story is accurate that don't pass the bill. And they had support he was she. He was she. from some unlikely quarters. We are losing this thing because of entrenched male chauvinism. You cannot move a country when you have 52% of the population behind. My people have instructed me to support any bill, any motion that will lessen their body. I think Kenyans will not feel so offended uh, by giving 60 million to ensure that we are complying with the rule of law. Whether a new bill will be reintroduced after six months is something we will have to wait and see. Meanwhile, any Kenyan can move to the High Court to petition President Huru Kenyatta to dissolve Parliament. This on the advice of Chief Justice David Maraga. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.